Hello, I'm Jen Grice, author of the book, You Can Survive Divorce. I am a divorce coach and mentor, guiding women to surviving and thriving after divorce. Be sure to subscribe and stick around and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to hear about on this channel. Also, you can find out more about my ministry and my book at jengrice.com. So today I'm doing a short video on gaslighting. The common gaslighting phrases and what exactly is gaslighting? So we'll start there. Gaslighting is a psychological term and tactic that people use to control and confuse a person they're trying to manipulate for various reasons. If you do a search, you can find the history behind the word, but it's often hard to explain to someone else. So I knew a video with examples also showing tone would be necessary over just a blog post on my blog. For a little information, the National Domestic Violence Hotline has this to say on their website, and I'll add a link to that in the description below. Gaslighting tends to happen very gradually in a relationship. In fact, the abusive partner's actions may seem like just a harmless misunderstanding at first. Over time, however, these abusive behaviors continue and a victim can become confused, anxious, isolated, and depressed while losing all sense of what is actually happening. Then the victim may start relying on the abusive partner more and more to define reality, which creates a very difficult situation to escape. The National Domestic Violence Hotline, or the hotline for short, breaks down gaslighting into these five categories, which is very helpful withholding or pretending to not understand, countering or trying to change your mind about actions or events, blocking or diverting, often changing the subject, trivializing, calling you sensitive, or saying you're making a big deal about something, and lastly, forgetting or denial. That's pretty self-explanatory. To go into what this looks like, here's an example conversation that I wrote the other day on Twitter. Wife, are you having an affair? Husband, no, you're crazy to think that, which is blocking and diverting. Why delete texts? Because I knew you'd accuse me of cheating, blaming and countering. Why lie about having lunch with a female coworker? Because I knew you'd make a big deal out of it. Trivialize, trivializing. Why can't you just be honest with me? Because I can't trust you, and really, it's none of your business. More diverting. There is someone else, isn't there? Here we go again. You're always making your accusations because I have friends. You just don't want me to have any friends. You just want to control me and everything I do. Blame shifting. He's really cheating, but he won't ever admit it. He just keeps blaming, shaming, and confusing his wife to think she is the problem. She walks away from the conversation questioning herself, her belief system, her thought process, and most importantly, her gut instincts, which are there to protect her from people like this. This is her husband who she should feel safe with, but she's not safe because he's manipulating her and projecting back to her exactly what he is doing. So what are some other common phrases? And be sure to leave your examples in the comments below. I'd love to hear some of the ways you've been gaslighted or some of the phrases that you've heard. And some of the other ones I've heard both myself and from other clients are, you need help, you're crazy. You're way too emotional, overreacting, insecure, and you have jealousy issues. You don't trust me. When you don't, but you feel bad about it. He's not trustworthy. Oh, I was just joking. You just can't take a joke. You will never forgive me, will you? You just hold grudges. You're such a hypocrite. You're the worst sinner too. Here are some examples of things that you've done putting you on the defense. I never said that. I've never abused you. I've never cheated on you. It was your fault. If you hadn't accused me, of this, that, or whatever, I wouldn't have done this or cheated. If you had done this instead of that, and all those other excuses. And lastly, you call yourself a Christian and this is how you act? 
The point is you're being attacked on purpose. He's playing mind games. And yes, he knows what he is doing. Just no one has ever stopped him. If this is what you're going through or what you're experiencing now in a relationship, please seek help. Again, there's a link below to the National Domestic Violence Hotline where you can get help or find your local domestic violence shelter. Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse and you deserve to be treated better. So I hope this was helpful and encouraging to you and especially empowering. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, feel free to share your story below. And again, I'm working on a Stronger Woman After Divorce course and I hope to have that completed soon. And I hope that would be something that would benefit you and your healing. Those on my email list will be the first to know about this course and when it goes live. If that would be something that would interest you, again, let me know in the comments. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay safe and God bless.